What's going on guys, welcome to the video. So I was just about to go to bed when Iran thought they would grow some testicles and come out and start loosing off missiles at the US base in Iraq, or more to the point, an Iraqi airbase, with reports out that up to 20 people are dead. Now this is early days and that number could change or be completely wrong, but there's reports between 6 and 30 missiles were set off, some are saying 12, others are saying 6, and many news organisations are saying 30. So take all of them with a pinch of salt. The BBC, among every other news organisation the world over, and Twitter are reporting on this, so I'll play a little clip from the BBC's breaking news just a moment ago, which explains a little bit of what's going on. But like I've said already, there's no guarantee that what they're saying is correct, because we don't know. This literally happened an hour or so ago now. But anyway, enough of me waffling, here is the clip. There's reports of rocket attacks on an airbase in Iran. Uh, Gareth Barlow, our reporter, has been monitoring all of this for us. We're getting a few details, but of course this is a breaking news situation at the moment. Um, just tell me a little bit about what the Pentagon is saying, because that will have a big impact on the f what, what happens next. Yes, numerous lines coming out of the Pentagon. They say they're working on an initial battle damage assessment, that it's clear that these missiles were launched from Iran, and that Iran Iran launched more than a dozen ballistic missiles against US military and coalition forces in Iraq. The Pentagon goes on to say we will take all necessary measures to protect and defend US personnel, partners and allies in the region. But this is a developing situation for the Pentagon and for the forces in this Al-Assad airbase. It's in western Iraq, houses American forces, also houses Iraqi forces too. We know that at least six missiles have struck it, possibly more. It's a developing situation. At the moment, no indication of the number of casualties, if there are any, or of what damage has been inflicted by this attack. And we have had some information that, well, Iranian te television is talking about it, Tehran pretty much saying that, yes, uh, Iran is behind this. Yes, the FARS and the Iranian news agencies, state of news agencies, semi-official news agencies, reporting that the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps is taking responsibility for this attack against the Al-Assad airbase in Iraq. What will be interesting to see, and we're seeing this from the Pentagon, they're saying that these were ballistic missiles, and the type of missile that's been used in this attack might then point to who is ultimately responsible. If they're rockets, potentially proxy uh, militia that operate on Iranian behalf in the region, if it's ballistic missiles, like the Pentagon says, then that points more strongly towards the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps. We saw earlier, uh, a few hours ago, the Foreign Minister of Iran, Javad Zarif, saying that they would respond against this killing of that senior uh, general against American legitimate targets, as he said. It looks as though this might be the start of that response. It'll be interesting to see to what scale that will be. There's reports uh, from the Reuters news agency saying there's potentially multiple locations across Iraq. The United States and the Pentagon working hard now to try and ascertain to what degree we know that Donald Trump is being briefed and is monitoring the situation at the White House. So there you see it, even they don't really know, like I said, it's very early doors, he also said that as well. But Iranian state TV is claiming that it was an Iranian attack, performed by the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps, so we still wait to see. As he said, there are reports it was ballistic missiles, but it could well be smaller rocket-based systems that would indicate, as he said, it was a militia, rather than the Iranian military itself. Of course, it being a militia doesn't mean that it wasn't sponsored by the Iranian government. But as it stands, there's very little we actually know, and at this moment, Donald Trump has not said anything just yet. But as you heard in that clip, the Pentagon said the response is going to come. Meaning, Iran has really fucked up this time. They're about to get their asses kicked. But on that note, guys, I will end the video there. I just wanted to bring you this quick one. It's, it's the middle of the night, so most people won't actually watch it. But I will do a more detailed video tomorrow, once we actually know what is going on. Now, before we go, I want to thank our PayPal, Patreon, Subscribestar, and YouTube members for supporting the channel, along with everyone who watches my videos. Remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Leave a like. Subscribe with the notification bell and share this video as it helps the channel a lot. And I'll see you all in the next one. And Corbyn neutral by Christmas. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners. 
the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. And that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. Ramon! Ramon!